Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you had a blessed Christmas day yesterday. Some of you are probably traveling home as we speak. Um, hopefully you get a chance to be in the house of God today. So, did you have a good day yesterday? I had a glorious day. We, were, <laughs> we had a great dinner last night. <clears throat> and did you read Doug's uh, I message? I did. That yeah. was very yeah, sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, uh, you know, it seems like that for all of our married life, uh, our holidays and even our home has been open for people that don't have any place else to be. Yeah, yeah. Well, we yeah. didn't have any place else to be either. <laughs> <laughs> so... That is true. That is true. But we enjoyed uh, having company because it was just the two of us. Uh, and, and I also enjoyed the day. Uh, but there is an underlying awareness that um, it, it was a mixed bag in, with respect to how people were able to celebrate. And we'll talk about that in a minute. One thing that's not a mixed bag is the faith that we place in Jesus. That Amen. is our constant, and we continue to celebrate that. Um, yeah, and, and what I'm talking about is I personally know people who have lost husbands and fathers and mothers. We, we in our family, we have had loss and... Um, you know, I'm mindful of those in my family who were directly, directly impacted by that. All of us know that the feelings of despair that can accompany loss, regardless of what day it is and what's happening. But Christmas is a sentimental time and emotions can run high. Um, and with the current state of affairs in our world today, the so-called